previously in Skyrim. Okay, we're gonna try and make the most of this jaunt. Oh, make yourself at home, Lydia. Why not? Ah! Dare you? Katya? What? Um, hello? Oh, I didn't see you there. Hi! I, I found your journal outside. Um, you, you want some help? The treasure is mine. All mine. Think again, lady. <laughs> oh, you dumb, dumb woman. Don't you know you never go running into a dungeon without looking first? I can't move. Well, I guess it's time to see if our new caravan guy sticks to his word. And now... Uh, it's good to finally be in Iverstead. How you doing over there, Lydia? Enjoying a meal. Yeah, me too. At least I thought I was. Everything on the table in front of me, though, if I eat it... They're going to think I stole it. It's a good thing I got plenty of my own food. That looks like a raw fish. I don't want to eat a raw fish, and that's raw dog meat. You know what? Let's just have some cheese. And a drink. Why not? We'll have a drink as well. Okay. I'm all rested up. How are you guys doing? I can't see Katya anywhere. Hey, hey Katya, do you, do you by chance? Hey, you're fixed. Oh, that's so good to see. You had me scared. You to bother me right now. I'm not bothering you. You're bothering me. Shut up. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Because I'm going up the mountain. Would you care to and I'm not a pil my loot? Music. I like music. Hi. If you fancy a bit of music, let me know. I mean, I do, but I kind of have things to do today. I don't know if I have time. I'm sorry. Um. Hey there, Inkeep. How you doing? How's business? Mm -hmm. If I were you... I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. Wait, the barrow? Uh... What's wrong with the barrow? Uh, yeah, what's wrong with the barrow? There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and oh. you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Uh, do the spirits... Spirits come into town, too. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I mean... I'm not really afraid of ghosts. If I draw her all the time, I could take a look for you. Eventually. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Sure. Uh, while I'm here, what do you know about High Hrothgar? Because that's where I'm headed right now. The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Oh? Why is that? Disappointed? Huh. Alright, let's get this obligatory question out of the way. Where can I learn about magic? Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. Yeah. I, I, I kind of figured that was going to be the answer I got. I just, I like, <laughs> I find it amusing what every bartender has to say about magic. Although, so far, my favorite is still the guy in Riverwood who accused me of wanting to blow myself up. That's still the very best. Um, 
so a little more about these barrows. Has anyone else before me gone over there? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. Okay. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. Oh. We never saw him again. Okay. I'll have to keep a lookout for um, what's left of him. Maybe he left a journal. Uh, I, I'm not actually looking for work, but I'll ask anyways. Do you got any, uh, any jobs that need doing? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right. Kill the dragon at Automatch Tower. Oh, boy. I don't have the best of luck with dragons, but thanks for everything. If you're headed up to the monastery... I am. ...watch your step. It's a long Pardon way down. Me, Lord. Will do. Thanks for the advice. Uh, not now, thank you. But um, maybe when I come back down the mountain... I mean... I like a bit of music. I think you should continue with your performance. Still here. What's the point? You guys ready to go? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I think you play beautifully. I mean, it would be a shame if you stopped. I could always All right, Wilhelm. use another I it's companion. The least I can do for you. I I mean, it, there's more room in my party if you want to travel Skyrim and play in other places. I mean, I just came from Riften, and before that, I was in solitude. I mean, I, I tend to get around. People spend their coin. Who knows? Here. Maybe tomorrow I'll end up in Solstheim. Just foreshadowing. I know that's coming. I just don't remember when. I'm right behind you. I mean, I think technically I could go to Solitude or. Uh, was it Dawnstar? Yeah. We gotta go see a museum in Dawnstar anyways, but I think How there's a boat you? up there that I could take what? to, uh... I saw you steal that. We are sisters of battle. Solstheim. Yeah. Anytime I want. Well, oh, there's a beggar over there next to that you ruined house. Be. Anyways, we, ladies, are finally going to head up the mountain. I, I've, been, I've been distracted for way too long. Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb um, to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Wait, wait, wait. Passing through You're... on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Uh, yeah. You go up there a lot. Can you tell me anything? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, they're they're scary old men on the top of a mountain. Okay, uh, what kind of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The graybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Uh, do you get anything in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Kind of sounds to me like you don't get anything for this. Like, how did you even start doing it in the first place? I'd be curious to know that. But, you know what? I, I could take the satchel for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, I mean, we can't let them starve. Supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okay, that sounds easy enough. 
Anything I should watch out for on the way? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. All Other right. that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Oh, I don't think I'm at risk of falling down the mountain. I'm more worried about being thrown off the mountain. Be careful up there. By a dragon or a troll or something else. But that's also why I'm taking um, extra weapons in the form of companions. It's really good to have you back in one piece, Katya. You were starting to worry me. All right. Here goes nothing. What the? Um. What? I'm sorry. Where did those come from? You know what? Never mind. It, it's not worth What's exploring. In that direction, boss? Who knows? I think that's what we're about to find out. Now the ultimate question. Are there really 10,000 steps? I'm not going to, to count them. You're welcome to if you want. I just really don't care that much. But if it gives you guys something to talk about while we're headed up the mountain, feel free to ponder whether or not you think there's actually 10,000 steps. Let's read the plaque, shall we? Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Okay. So the dragons were formidable. I can attest to that. I've had enough encounters with them to know that uh, I don't like it. Oh. Preserves. And I'm overweight. And that's a troll. Okay. He said he only had to deal with wolves. Dead, I think. Oh, jeez. I guess I should have gone shopping or something before I left. And offloaded some weight. Because I'm maxed out. And all I did was pick up a little bit of food. I don't, I don't have a lot of stuff, though. Like, I really don't. Here, I love this new thing. I don't know what Moleg Ball thinks he's cursing me with, but I love the fact that I, I can now see exactly what books I've read and which ones I can't. I wonder if he's changed anything else. Because I took a nap while I was at the inn. And it seems to be every time I go to sleep, something new changes. It does make a person wonder. Uh, but what do I get rid of? Um, Katya. An animal, boss? Katya, Katya, what Katya, is it, Katya, boss? Katya. Um, I need you to hold a few Got things. anything good, boss? Uh, I think I'm going to give you all of these animal pelts, because I've got a lot of them, and they're weighing me down quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. That that was a lot. Um, I'm going to hold on to those. Uh, can I see what's what based on how heavy it is? Oh, yeah, that's weighing me down quite a lot, but I can't get rid of that. Here, hold on to the camping supplies, too. If I go this way... Oh, my goodness. Most of what's weighing me down is stuff I can't actually get rid of. Uh, you know what? You can hold on to that. It's a Daedric artifact. I need my sword. I don't really need the bow. So you can hold on to that, too. Um, And yeah, that, that should be good. Thank you. Thank you for holding okay. on to those. Now I can actually move and we can get up this mountain. So now let me take more stuff in the form of potion ingredients off this troll corpse. Alright. You know, he said it was going to be like 
cold and slippery. I, I don't see any snow or any signs of ice. Maybe we're just not high up enough yet. I'm also not seeing... I'm also very... Uh, I'm also seeing a very distinct lack of steps on these 10,000 steps. We've got a few steps here, and then dirt, and then a few more steps. I mean... Who counted these? Hey, Mr. Goat. Sorry, Mr. Goat. But I need your stuff. Fresh kill, boss. I know. I killed it. Come on, ladies. Time's a wasting. Oh. There's a person up here. Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I will. Thank you for the advice. What are you doing up here? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Ah, true, true. I just got myself a goat. It's very good. Have you ever seen the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Why some not? Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. So nobody goes and talks to them. They're completely isolated. That's really kind of bummer. Did you hear when they shouted a while back? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I wonder too, but apparently according to the Arl of Whiterun, it has something to do with me. So I'm on my way up to find out. But Until it, next time. Yeah, it's been nice talking to you. I'm going to read the plaque real quick, okay? Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Okay. Oh, now it looks like he's going back down the mountain. Hey, we finally got some snow. Maybe that nice guy at the bottom of the hill was right. It will get kind of slippery up here. Whoa! I know one thing's for sure. I'm getting stuck on the world. Oh, well, there's another troll. I hear him stomping around. There's still, oh, that's not a troll spare. Ah! Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm? You guys warm enough? It's about to start getting real cold up here. You might want to get out your torches. Hell, I might want to get out my torch. I have never been this cold. You and me both. It's it's starting to get up there. I, I seriously hope we can get to the top. Ice Wraith. Ice Wraith. Help. Never fought an Ice Wraith. I don't know if I can handle this. We are warriors of Skyrim. Ooh. I'm covered in blood. It's Icor, not blood. Oh, God. Do I have anything that will help warm me up? Oh, I hope so, because I might need it soon. We might not want to stop and talk with people anymore, because I'm getting really cold. I, feel my fingers or my toes. I know, I know. Just hang in there. Oh, hey. Offering bolt. Don't mind if I do. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Okay, it's, like it's kind of telling a history of the old world. Back when the dragons ruled. It's kind of cool. Oh, I really hope I can warm up soon. This might end in tragedy if I'm not careful. Let's, uh, okay. Let's try and eat a bowl of soup. Restores health and hunger. Will it warm me up? 
That's that's the important part. Is will it warm me up? Bows do extra damage. Restore hunger. Restore health. Um. Do I have anything that gives me like a health over time effect? Eat some carrots, I guess. I've got a lot of carrots. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sit here and chow down on everything in my inventory all at once. We're, we're gonna stop in the middle of this blizzard to have a snack. It didn't warm me up though. This is a problem. And the torch isn't really helping either. Alright. We may have to stop and drop a campfire and, and try to warm up. How are you not freezing? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgard. Right, wolves. Yeah, that's the least of my concerns right now. Kind called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon, the, then dragon war raged. Dragon against tongue. Okay, Katya, I think huh? I need those uh, camping supplies back. We, I'm freezing really, really you are fast. Just giving me things? No, I'm taking things. At least one of them. Okay. Okay. Okay, indeed. How do I use this? Yes, please. Let's build a campsite, like, right here. Preferably with a fire that we can warm up. Allow you to rest, stay warm while exploring. You can cook a limited number of meals. Campsite is marked on your map. Okay. Hi there. Huh? What are you doing up here? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. That's cool. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Yeah, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Did you hear the Greybeard shout? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way to go find out what that was all about. Mm -hmm. It was nice meeting you. Here's hoping I can survive the trip up the mountain so we can meet again. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, enjoy my campfire. Feel free to uh, stay here, use the bed, cook yourself a meal. Be my <sighs> guest. I can always make another one. Okay, ladies, I'm feeling better. Let's keep going. I may have to make another one of these, though, further up the up the mountain. Here's hoping I'm wrong. You just need to make it to the top without freezing to death. Oh, here we go. A little bit of shelter from the wind, but another troll! Oh, God. Okay. Have a bad feeling, boss. You and me both. Maybe it has something to do with the frost troll charging at us. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's much better. I don't suppose I can use the troll fat to warm up. Just spread it on myself. It's kind of gross to think about, but if it keeps me warm, I'll do it. Emblem 5. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. Got it. Humans won the Dragon War. Where's the path? Is this the path? Please tell me this is the path and I'm going the right direction. I haven't been paying attention to my compass. Like an idiot. Oh man, it's so cold up here. Here's 
Here's hoping my torch doesn't burn out. Here's our next, uh... Emblem 6. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and, vice and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. It says that it was, they withdrew, not that they were all killed. Which could explain why they're all coming back. Maybe they weren't all actually dead. But where did they go? That's the real question. Where did they go for all that time? And why now, all of a sudden, are they coming back? Those are answers we're going to have to find once we get up here. It's all be worth it, I promise. Eventually. And all that other stuff we've done up to this point has really just been preparing for this journey. I just didn't think I was ready at the time. Now, well, I still don't think I'm ready, but I'm... I really want to move this along, because I really want to go home. Or if I'm not going to go home, then I want to, you know, become the conquering hero and settle down in the new my new life in this world. Run that new farm I found. Maybe rent out all of my other houses to friends or, or whoever and make some extra money doing it. You know? I want to live the simple life. I can't do that when the world is still a threat of being destroyed. Okay, let's drop these off for that kind of guy at the bottom of the mountain. There we go. We should spar later. We just might. But first, we've made it to the... Oh, wait. We missed... Um, we missed a plaque. Probably missed a couple of plaques. But let's read this one. Ten? Oh, I missed a lot of them. I went from six to ten. The voices worship folly in her path speak only in true need. Yeah, yeah. We, we missed a lot. I went from plaque number six to ten. <laughs> um, and I don't even remember reading number four either. I think it went straight from three to five, so. That's that, I guess. Oh, we made it. Still kind of cold, though. Hello? I don't mean to be rude, but I think you summoned me. Nobody's ever seen no. you before, so, like... A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I mean, that's what everybody keeps telling me. But what does that even mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Really? You want me to shout at you? Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. I mean, I'll take your word for it. Um, that one? Boos! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I think it made your buddy back there angry. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Okay. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh, because I was told to. Uh, I'm just answering your summons, I think. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Now, what exactly does that mean? That is for you to discover. Oh, We gee. can show you the way, but not your destination. Well, aren't you just a bundle of useful information? What exactly does it mean to be dragonborn? We are here to guide you oh. in that pursuit. Sorry, sorry. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. So I'm not the first one. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. 
Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. So how did you even know about me, then? Like, if you can't even tell whether or not there are other dragonborn out there in the world right now, then how do you even know that I exist? Like, you're not explaining things that need to be explained, and it's really annoying. Alright, well then tell me more about yourself and this temple that you live in. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in high Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Okay. Balance. Whatever that means. Inner and outer selves. So, you, you're literally just... You sit around and meditate all day. Well, okay. If meditation is, is really all I need to worry about, I guess I'm ready to learn whatever it is you think you can teach me. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Okay. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Discipline? Maybe. Temperament? Highly Without unlikely. Training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Okay. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. They're all all staring shouts at are me. made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Bro, the second word in unrelenting force. Bro okay. means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Bro. So, so this, this is your lessons. You're just gonna, you're gonna teach me m more shouts. I mean, I kind of like this idea. You learn a new word like a master. I guess I was close you enough. Do have the gift. But yeah, I learned it without even looking at it. Look at that. I'm a genius when it comes to shouting. Lock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Okay. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, oh, that's what I've been doing. Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. I never fully understood what happened to a dragon when I killed it and got too close. I just knew it was a bit breezy. Oh, okay. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Um. Strike to Okay. Let's, let's get into a, a good position here. Um. Want to hit something with a sword? Just wait your turn, Katya. This is my turn to shine. You guys get to. Do you to think there is anything left? Do for things us? a lot. Hmm? Just hold on. You guys need to hold on too. Like I gotta check. Is this even? Oh, okay. They just unlocked it for me. Sure. Cool. Great, I didn't have to waste anything. Who's row? Better them than us? Well done. Again. Katja, you, you really need to move. Who's row? Very good, boss. He is dead, yes? You it was never them. alive to begin with. Once more. Just go, go find a place and sit down and, and read a book. Fusro. Are you? Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. 
Okay. Oh, do we have to go back outside? It's really cold out there. Come on now. Like, literally, I nearly froze coming up the mountain. I'd rather stay indoors if that's okay. I mean, there's lots of room in here to sprawl around and run and do whatever it is you need me to do. Like, eh, I don't want to go out in the cold. Me, boss. It's bad enough that once I'm done here, I'm going to have to go out there anyways. Because i got to find my way back down. All right, let's get this over with. Look, a core. Oh. Did he just make it less cold you out here? No. How you learn a completely new shout. Can you Master teach me a shout that keeps me warm in the cold weather? Well, Whirlwind. Okay. You must hear the word within yourself. I see lots of scratches on the ground. Stone. Look, look, Ma, no eyes. I'm that talented. Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wool. Do I have to get any closer? I mean... I've got this thing about touching people I don't know. It's I, I don't I don't I'd appreciate I'd rather not. I, I don't I don't like doing it. I'd prefer to keep my hands to myself. Master Bori. Now it's your turn. Okay. will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I can't just speak these things and make them happen. I wish I could. I wish there was a way I could just say it and it would work. But okay, let's try this. Rex. Wool. No, I heard that one. Hi. Glad I stopped where I did. Yeah, it's not you. It's just I'm really uncomfortable with getting too close to people because, well, these two bump into me all the time. And it's so annoying. All right, let's finish this conversation up and go Your inside. I'm quick cold. mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? What can I say? I'm special. It's a nice talent, but it doesn't really serve me in the normal world. Yeah, I just figured this would be easy for everyone. Or do I? I don't know. It, it just tends to happen. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine. Try and be humble. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve My last the trial. Of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder. From his tomb in the ancient tomb of Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. You want me to go dungeon diving? Uh. Okay, who was Jurgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. Calm. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jurgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition. And the way of the voice was born. I get the feeling we are not going to get along very well. What was the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. 
She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Uh-huh. But I don't follow your philosophy, so why are you helping me? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore oh, seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. In other words, I really am special. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm 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 down with this. That's cool. Um yeah. So do you know anything about why the dragons are suddenly coming back? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Alright, surely there's more to this than what you're not that you're not telling me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Uh. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. It's not arrogance, it's curiosity. Of many dragonborn before you. I'm not looking for, for, for power, I'm looking for knowledge and understanding. You know, something a monk should appreciate. But fine, whatever. I'll go retrieve your Wind. horn. Got you. I'll save the rest of my questions for later. It is really cold out here. And I still have to get down the mountain without freezing to death. If I'm not careful, you won't have a dragonborn anymore. Instead, you're going to have a dragon sickle. 